Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're in the kitchen again today, but we're not going to be cooking. We're going to be installing some additional shelving, so stick around. So this is my draw for my utensils, and this is the one for my pots and pans. And I installed this a few years ago, and it was pretty expensive. But basically you're at the bottom shelf, and then you can see this thin shelf which would go in the middle, and you could only fit small pots and pans. But by putting this in here, while you lost some width, you can now install two full trays, and you don't have to get down on your knees and pull from the back. It's just really nice and convenient to do that here. So I want to do the same thing under the kitchen sink to get a little more space. So I picked two of these up back in early March of this year, but uh, before I got to install them, my neighbor's tree fell on my house and truck, and this kind of just went uh, on the wayside because I just kind of forgot all about it. Um, I was reminded a couple of weeks later about these back in March because URHC had bought uh, an identical one. I ended up buying two. And he says, you have no excuse to do it. It's pretty easy. And um, so today I'm actually finally gonna install these. Okay, so we got the main cage unit where you can mount it on this side of the sink so you have the plumbing that would go right in here or on the other side of the sink you know for the same reason but i have a big enough sink that i'd like to see if i can get two of these in there if not not a big deal also comes with some instructions and a template so i'm still good y'all which i'm going to use this for my uh 3d printer filament some support information and uh some hardware and Arguably the heart of the unit, the rails. Now these ball bearing rails can get pretty expensive. So the fact that I paid $20 for this kit and these uh, rail sets, I've seen them go minimum $15. I'd say that's a, a bargain. So let's get started. First things first, we gotta empty this thing. The fire extinguisher should not be in the back of the cabinet. I don't know how that got pushed back there. Now this is a pretty tight fit as it is because you got a lot of plumbing and electrical back here. So we're gonna have to do a test fit first. And if it doesn't fit here, we'll have to go to the other side. So I'm gonna set the cage in here just to make sure there is enough room. And there does appear to be enough room in here. We also have to make sure when this gets pulled forward, it does not hit any of this hardware. This is a uh, kind of unique for back in the 80s when these were installed. I think we're good. So we're gonna install the rails temporarily to see if anything else gets in the way. Shelving pops on pretty easily. You just pop it in these little clips here. And we'll do the same for the other side. This does raise the height a little bit, but I think we're clear as far as the brackets go. They are not going to interfere. So let's get these rails back off. We'll pop on the template and start to drill holes. Next up, we're going to place the template here and we're going to tape it down and we're going to drill the eight corresponding screw holes. Make sure I stretch the pattern back so the screw holes line up better. I really wish this was a deeper cabinet because I would have really liked to put some bigger things in the front, such as, you know, a bigger bottle of uh, dishwashing detergent or, or trash bags like this, but that's okay. Nowhere do I see that it mentions the size of the drill bit pilot hole you should drill, so I'm just gonna use a 1 inch drill bit. This little handy dandy kit, I think I got for 10 bucks on clearance at uh, Home Depot during the holidays. I feel this drill is too big for this. Now there are the hole markings to bring this forward and backwards. I'm not quite sure why they do that. They don't really tell you too much about it in the manual, but I'm guessing if you needed to adjust this slightly depending uh, on your restrictions inside the cabinet take this out and we'll use this for the next one get our eight countersunk screws and our free Haber freight magnetic tray freebies are always good make sure we put these in the right way they'll slide forward and it just occurred to me why they have those gray holes we are going to use this one right here the second one in Use my extension, help me get in there a little bit easier. 
it's a shame about the wasted space on the side here. Maybe I'll be able to figure out something to put here someday. Now I'm going to sock those in tight. Or should I say tight enough? Now we're going to pull out these draw slides and we're going to put the basket in. Again, if this was going on the other side, we just put it in this way. But we're going to go this way. Now these are not soft clothes. I don't think you would actually need to use them. Let's make sure everything shuts okay. And it does. I could have actually placed this much closer to the left side over here. And that's something I could still do. I can always redrill the holes. Now let's load it up. This might be a good place for the fire extinguisher right up top where it belongs. Easy to access. Now it's obvious everything's not fitting in here. However, some of these things were in the middle here. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. Let's make sure this slides in without a problem, without interference. And it does. Now, everything fits. Can't forget the dustpan. And that is going to sit on the inside. After this video, I invite you to subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, and you can see what I'm up to on a regular basis. Those links will be in the description below. I see no reason why we can't do this to the other side. Now, it does have this drip tray that we have down here, and if that doesn't fit, I'll just turn this sideways and it should be fine. If not, we're just going to have to move it or remove it. I see no reason why this template can't be moved against the side wall here. And I may decide to move the other shelf over as well. Of course, it would be nice if I put it in the right way. So that little mistake there showed you just how easy it is to use on one side or the other. Thanks for stopping in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out a new video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.